this week we rode Ranger a lot in the hills and then as we see here I was using him in some lessons helping instruct some other people of how to ride how to look where they're going get their horse to bend follow their head and stuff like that and so these things are wonderful for Ranger he's learned to ride in the hills be the leader and here he's learning how to go out even though I'm demonstrating to some novice riders, he's also practicing doing his turns, being out away from the group, and working on his own. He's really doing good. Sometimes he gets a little confused about where I want him, but all in all, he's handling the riding stuff very well. We also took the time this week to go ahead and get Ranger's shoes on his back feet. Sometimes it's very stressful for a young horse to be attacked by nippers and rasps and shoes and a hammer. And so we broke it up by doing his front feet last week. And then we went ahead and did his back feet. And he wiggled a little bit, but he, all in all, he handled it wonderful. He's a very relaxed colt with an absolutely awesome mind. Ranger continues to accept us better and better every day and more and more. He allows us to do pretty much anything with him. He's very quiet. He stands, lets you brush him, pick up his feet, put his blanket on. It doesn't matter. He's very, very nice. This week we thought we would kind of finish up the week by doing some different things. So we decided we would go ahead and make him a pack horse. What do you think of this, Ranger? It looks a little different, doesn't it? I like to do a variety of things with my horses. The more we can do with them, the better they're going to be. And that's what I'm after. I'm after a partner that's going to be quiet about everything and handle and accept everything I do with them. Good boy. All of the things that we did in the very beginning is preparing him for all the things we ever want to do with him. We've sacked him out. We've rubbed him down with the whip. We've rubbed him with the pole in the very beginning and then with our ropes and stuff. So it might tickle a little bit, but he's already had something there once before. So with a little bit of practice, he can get used to it. I still like to take him and lunge him a little bit and let him get used to the feel of it. A pack saddle definitely wraps around their body a little bit more than your, your average saddle does. Good boy, he's figuring it out though. Now here he's not too sure. <laughs> he kind of puts a funny little hop hop in there. <laughs> He wants to know how to get this thing off his rear end. It doesn't belong here. <laughs> it didn't take him long though and he settled right down and accepted it. Now the next day after he's had the pack saddle on I like to put something on a pack saddle. I might need to pack an elk out or uh, pack my tent into a camp or Maybe I just want a fanny pack with some pop cans and stuff in it. So these sacks here that I have are, oh, they have about 15 pop cans in each sack. And I'm tying them together so that he can pack them. And, of course, he's helping me. <laughs> I like my horses to be interested in what I'm doing and not have to be held in place. And Ranger has that inquisitive personality that makes him a lot of fun to play with. As you can see, see here, he's uh, quite a character. <laughs> now I'll go ahead and show it to him. and I want him to not be afraid of something I'm going to put on his back. I don't want to hide it from him and then sneak it up there. I want him to get used to it, hear it, feel it. So therefore, there's nothing about it that's scary. It's something he already understands. No big deal. Good boy. The more things we can expose him to and show him what he should do, how he should handle it, then the better he'll get. If we are just don't do that much with him or we scare him with stuff, he's not going to learn how to handle the pressure. 
And if he's carrying these bags around and he shakes or one hits the wall, it's going to make a lot of noise. So the more noise we can make ahead of time, the more prepared he'll be for it when it's just tied on to it. Good boy. <laughs> I do spend a lot of time showing him everything. As you can tell, he wouldn't be too hard to teach some fun tricks to. <laughs> He's a good boy. As with everything we do, if we do one side, we do the other side. Just getting him quieter, more relaxed, and better. When I do throw these cans around, I like to let them go across him, fall down, um, go on the ground, go under his belly. Anywhere I can get him, pick him up, throw him up, I said, let him go to the other side. If he's jumping or spooking, he's still got some holes we need to fill. It's just like if I come off of him someday, I'd like him not to stomp on me or run away from me, but just look at me and say, what the heck are you doing down there? <laughs> Now I'm going to go ahead and tie these on. I want to make sure that they're secure enough and that they're not dragging where he's going to step on them or anything. And then I go ahead and turn him loose. I've showed him all that I can. And now I'll just let him have some time to hang out here and see what he thinks of these cans all by himself. Sometimes we need to step back and give him a chance to see what we've done, see what's going on. If we never step back away from them, sometimes they never get a chance to really see it. <laughs> you can see he's real concerned here. <laughs> Ranger has such an easygoing personality to him. He accepts things so well. He really picked up on the fact that I was his friend and that I would take care of him. So when I show something to him, he's very eager to accept it. It's exciting to him to do new things. I really can't even explain and, or express how much fun he actually has been to work because of that willing disposition. I might not have any sacks left by the time he's done playing. I hope you've enjoyed this week. We look forward to seeing you next.